Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use the auto layout feature in Figma. Now it is quite complex, but once you get to use it and learn how it works, it's pretty straightforward. So let's get straight into it. So understanding auto layout, first of all, is the first step to knowing how to use it. So let's just use a shape here. Okay. So if we are using a shape, and we are then inserting some text into this shape. Let's go ahead here and just say title. And there's a few different things that you can do here. So let's move this to the center. And now we can start changing properties of the box in the background. All right. We can also change the title itself and how it interacts with the box. But if you're using auto layout this is essentially what happens you can right click here and you can click on add auto layout and there's a few different things that you can do when you are using the auto layout so if you want to you can make that same box and the way it will interact with your text or whatever else you put inside of the auto layout box this will now essentially act differently or interact with each other differently so you can see here the auto layout settings on the right hand side there's a few things here so you can see here there's a horizontal layout there is a vertical layout and then there is a wrap okay but we're going to leave it on this for now the other things that you can change here is the gap between items so if there's more than one item here you can either have it a single space and you can change what that space is or you can have it auto aligned and i'll show you what that looks like later what you can now do is change what the actual box looks like so let's click down and you can see that is now what it looks like you can go down here and let's fill so we're going to fill it with a light gray and you can see now that the text itself will interact differently with the box. Okay, so let us go back into our auto layout and we're going to make this just slightly bigger. All right, and that is now that is now what it looks like. So you can see currently that the text is in the center. So if we're moving this okay this will stay in the center as opposed to having a box behind our text that doesn't interact with the text as such so what we can do here is select the actual text okay and we're just going to use the Control c Control v to copy our text now if you click again on your auto layout you can see there's a different um there's a few different other things that you can do here so you can see the way it's placed out now you can actually go and if you change the size of this it doesn't move with your text so what you can do here is go to auto layout and you can change the way it interacts. So let's say auto and you can see now that it will interact as such. This is now slightly different interaction. You can also change it to an actual number and you can just use this slider and you can change that. Now you can also center this. So let's center it like that. And you can see, again, it's going to change the way that the text or any other object interacts with the auto layout. If you want to now go ahead and change how these paddings look, you can also do so. And then you can also change the way the text is actually placed within the auto layout. So essentially what you're doing is you're creating the opportunity to make everything automated as you're moving everything around so as you can see here we're moving it around and it's not doing anything and that is because right up here it says fixed okay now if you change it to hug it's going to interact differently an auto layout can really speed up your processes and increase your workflow